Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new series that we are going to be starting today. Smackdown. Here comes the pain, see Samoda. If you guys uh, stopped by the stream a couple nights ago, you'll know that um, I did get a new PC set up and we can actually play this game. So we're going to be starting a new season mode here. We're going, not going to waste too much time. We're just going to hop right into it. Uh, Chris Day was going to be used in season mode. I don't have any, so it doesn't really matter. Default stables will be used. You can still add stables after this season begins. Okay. Uh, if you guys could do me a huge favor before we get started and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And also turn on notifications uh, to stay up to date. If you guys are excited for season mode, uh, select superstar for seasons. Oh, so I can add and remove superstars. Um, I'm just going to keep all the default guys in. Uh, Raw and SmackDown, I'll keep that all the same too. We're not really going to make a whole lot of changes here. We're just going to kind of go right into it here. Um, so in terms of the people I want to play as, there, I'm going to be doing a few playthroughs on this, um, just because you can get different, um, you know, different storylines each time you play it through. So for the first time around, I think what I'm going to do is play as a lower tier guy, um, and I think the best guy really to play as would be, I mean, he's got, I, I kind of want to play as Chris Benoit, but he's got a, the only thing with Chris Benoit is he's got a submission finisher, and I suck at submission finisher. I suck at submissions in general, so. Uh, I don't think we're going to do with Chris, Chris Benoit. Same thing with Chris Jericho. I'd love to play as him, but he's got the submission finish as well. Christian's already been done. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, eh. Edge, if he has the spear, I'd play as Edge. Uh, Goldberg, Goldust. Oh, uh, I feel like John Cena would be one of those guys that people would always play through with, but no one ever does. Um, hmm. Randy Orton. He looks terrible in this game, though. Um, ma, ma, ma. Let's actually play as Shelton Benjamin over on Friday Night SmackDown. He is 73 overall, so he's not too high. Um, he is holding the tag team title, so that's kind of a problem, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I love Shelton Benjamin. He's great in the rain, and he's highly underutilized. So we're going to play as him in this season mode. So we're going to hop right into this here, and here we go. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this series for a very long time. Uh, there's one question people always ask me. Why do you wrestle? I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain. But I do it for so many reasons. The rush of the adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, the glory of the championship. But I know there's more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find an answer. Maybe when I get to the top of the squared circle, I'll find out something about myself. But maybe I won't find out anything. But I guess I'll step into that rain again tonight. Because I know the view from in there is unbelievable. Hell yeah. That's my favorite beginning to any story mode ever. J.O. WrestleMania was a huge success, but the dust has not settled just yet. Well, it's great. They actually had a crowd for one. Uh, that, that main event was awesome. I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Well, then we should apologize ahead of time. You might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. I don't know if you're watching current day WWE. I give props to you because I can't even make it through any of those. Stephanie McMahon. Hi, Shelton. Tonight is the first SmackDown of this fiscal year. And needless to say, I'm counting on you. Personally, as a GM and as Stephanie McMahon. I want to give... I want you to give the fans all you got. Make me proud, and I will show you the road to success. All right, Stephanie, show me that road. Shelton Benjamin never got that. Oh, we're hopping right into stuff. Okay. You got Lita, Stacy, uh, Sable, actually, and Jerry the King. It's time for the highly anticipated Diva Beauty Contest. This is the true highlight of my career, baby. Yeah, you tell them, JR. Puppies! Shelton will be tonight's judge. Okay. All right, I think that's enough talking. Let's see some action, starting with Lita. Good thing I can't get monetized anyways, because it's just going to ruin it. Woohoo! Oh, my. I'm getting a little crazy there, Lita. You might want to chill out. Look at, <laughs> Look at this dude's face. I was about to pass out. I'm sure you were, man. You might want to take a seat. Okay, okay, now it's time for our next lovely contestant, Sable. Woo! I'd do anything to get my hands on that. I'm sure you would, Kane. Who is actually saying that? It doesn't even tell me. It doesn't even tell you who's saying that. Look at his face. Look at this man's face. He's wild. 
JR, I can't take this any longer. This is a close contest. All right, let's let Shelton decide who the winner is. Me? Kane, I think you're forgetting you're on the payroll right now. So, Shelton, who do you think the winner is tonight? Lita wins or Sable wins? Um, I like Lita. Sable, Sable. But I don't want Brock to come kick my ass. No, Brock and I are best friends. Yeah, we're going to go with Lita. The winner is the lovely Lita. Lita, here's your trophy from myself, the king. Thanks a lot, king. This really means a lot to me. Let's get another round of applause for our winner, Lita. Yeah. <laughs> round of applause for Lita. First night. That was one slobber knocker, folks, and thanks for joining us, Shelton. Yeah, you're welcome. First first episode, we, we go into the D Diva Beauty contest. It never fails. Ooh, Kurt Angle. So I believe... Let me check the stables real quick. I think we're actually in a stable with Kurt Angle. I think we got Team Angle in this game, don't we? Or is it just World's Grace Tag Team? Oh, no. He's in a team with Chris Benoit. Chris Ben, okay. So Team Angle's not a thing, so we're just going to go talk to him, I guess. Fine by me. What's up, Kurt? Sucks that you got fired, man. If I were a betting man, I'd bet you're going to lose tonight. Oh, okay. And why? Because you're an ordinary person. And ordinary people make mistakes. But when I'm in that ring, I'm like a Mozart symphony or a Renoir painting. I'm as close to pure perfection as you can get. And I'm going to show these fans that I, do, I don't suck once and for all. I'm the best wrestler in the world. Just take a look at my shiny gold medals. In that case, why don't you prove it and fight me? You suck. I like this one. You suck. No, no, that's not true. I have achieved many things in my life that you can only dream of. I am a gold medalist. Did you hear me? I am a gold medalist. And I and who sucks? Are the fans in there? Oh my god, dude, that's awesome. I completely forgot about that. Those guys are all the same as you. They're all just jealous. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> Alright, so there's no one else to talk to. Um, what are our attributes here? Overall 73. 6 strength. Submission 7.5. Endurance 7.5. Technique is 8. So we're good at reversing. 7.5 uh, speed. So we're actually pretty well-rounded superstar here. Definitely a good pick for this. I hate his attire, but... Alright, so we got Rico versus Steven Richards. Ooh, Rico gets the win. We're going against Chavo Guerrero, and in the main event, we have Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar with Stephanie McMahon as a special guest referee. All right, let's get into this. Big Dave. Man, look, it's beefed up. Ooh, Chavo. Hell yeah. What's he doing now? Is he still wrestling? I don't think so. I saw him on uh, the Chris Benoit Vice documentary. But I don't know if he's still wrestling or not. Last time I saw him, he was on the Indies. Alright. Let's bring out your boy. I think, so I think someone's actually done a playthrough with Shelton Benjamin, too. Oh, well. I just like Shelton. We're gonna, so... If this goes well, the plan would be to do two lower tier level guys on Raw. So we'll do Shelton for SmackDown, then we'll do someone on Raw on a uh, lower tier. And then we'll do main event guys on Raw and SmackDown, like a champion zone of sort of thing. Because the story just keeps going. I mean, it never stops. So it should be pretty fun here. SmackDown, here comes Pain. It's like the just the game for me. Ooh. Hopefully I got the settings all right on here. Wait, Chavo, you're gonna get this work, big man. Ooh, big clothesline. Hell yeah. So I don't know if you guys know this, but the, actually, the, like, I, I'm pretty sure a big reason why Shelton actually got into um, the WWE was because of Brock Lesnar. So they were on, um, they're both on the same wrestling team or something like that. Or they were a tag team or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but when Brock got signed, I, if I, at least if the information I was given was correct, the only way he would sign with uh, developmental is if they signed Shelton too. I mean, obviously Shelton definitely has proven his worth, 
but it was just crazy that Brock, Le Brock Lesnar really put himself out like that at such a young age. And he had no, I mean, it also shows how much uh, faith that WWE had in Brock Lesnar too, because he had no uh, pro wrestling background. He had no desire to be a pro wrestler, but he saw money in it, so it just kind of worked out that way. He just has an eye for the business, and he, got, he has an eye for the business now too. I mean, Brock Lesnar's truly a one-of-a-kind specimen. I don't think we'll see someone like him in years, if ever again. All right, Chavo. Oh, oh, we got that super kick. Hell yeah, baby. Take it. Or not. Just no sell me. That's cool as well. Ooh. Chavo with the moves. Okay, Chavo. I see you. Okay. Chill. We're not we're not getting too crazy here. Just chill out, man. Woo! Oh look at the Oh Hurricane Rana. Hell yeah, one. Man, I gotta count faster than that. Ooh, super kick. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So super excited. Spinning heel kick, dude. Shelton's got some sweet moves. Be cool if there's a version of the Pater in this game. I don't know. What is his is this finisher the Exploder? At this time? I think it's the Exploder. Awesome finisher, by the way. I love the Explorer Suplex. Ooh, moves all into the cover. Hook of the leg. Come on, Rap, hurry up. God damn you. With your slow ass. What? Caught him again. Sean Benjamin's gonna be the new Undisputed Champion by the end of this. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> you can only hope for it. I thought about doing like a creative superstar playthrough, but dude, trying to win matches when you have no overall, it's just terrible. I so my original plan that I wanted to do was maybe if I could figure it out I could still do it. Um I wanted to play it as Jeff Hardy. I wanted to find a way to get Jeff Hardy into this game, but I literally could not figure it out, so I just kinda of gave up. I think playing as uh Jeff Hardy would be kinda of cool. Four fifty what? Sean did the 450 back in the day? He was wild, bro. Oh, we almost beat him, too. All right, Chavo. You're going to get this work here. Oh, look at the gut buster. Hell yeah. I think it's time to call it a day. You're on Chavo. He's hurt. Or he's going to low blow me. I don't want to. I don't want to have to finish it there because I don't want to have to try and drag him. Oh, perfect setup. Super kick! Hell yeah, baby! So that's one of his finishers. Count it. Count it. Hell yeah, baby! Taunt, attack, respect. Um, uh, hmm. Eh, he put up a good fight. Let's just taunt. That was a good match. That was a pretty good match, Shavo. You did a good job. I give you props. Get your hands off me, bitch. Don't touch me. I'm Shelton. Moving to the top of the card. Shavo hurting over there. And there is your winner. Shelton Benjamin. And I... And actually, it's kind of upsetting how underutilized he is. You're so talented. And then Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar with Stephanie McMahon as the special guest referee. And Brock Lesnar defeats The Undertaker on Friday Night SmackDown. First week of April, done and dusty. Hell yeah, this game's awesome. Alright, so second week, April, Phoenix, Arizona. Let's get to it. Let's see what's popping in Phoenix. JR, well, a limo has just pulled up, folks. I wonder who's inside. Must be those centerfold models coming to pick me up. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm with JR. Yeah, right, King. Ain't no one here to see you. Alright, so I got no one to talk to. Uh, let's just go right to the match. We we don't have a match? Okay. Eddie Guerrero versus John Cena for the US title. Ooh. 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 I think I might want to play that. Let's play this one. I'm going to play as John Cena because John Cena is kind of my dude. I know it sounds... I know you guys might want to subscribe after hearing that, but John Cena is kind of my guy. I've considered playing as him. 
Once he switched to this gimmick, he was so over, dude. Like, the fans were behind him so much. His favorite attire of mine is the, um... I believe it's his SmackDown vs. 2007 attire. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's where he's got, like, the white white jersey with the camo on it. That stuff, that's just so cool, dude. Got the man, the goat, Eddie Guerrero. Another one of my favorite superstars. Left us too early, man. Left us way too early, but it is what it is, you know. Stuff happens. All right. U.S. title on the line. Let's go, Eddie. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Hell yeah, baby. German. Oh, damn. That release German was crazy. Oh, Cena. What? Maybe I should play a Cena. God damn. This dude's crazy. This dude's wild. Oh, I missed. Got him. Yeah, so, I mean... What we'll do if um if I'm not on the card, if I see a match that just looks interesting, we'll try and we'll we'll play it. If it's not, that'd be too crazy. Since we weren't on the card tonight, I kinda wanted to play a match, so. Oh superplex, hell yeah. Does he have the five knuckle shuffle in this game? Oh slap! Oh disrespect by Cena. Powerbomb town, big man. Oh my god, cover, that's gotta be it. He got folded up like an accordion there. Okay. I was not expecting that. Big, ooh, big drop kick, okay. We're getting things going here. Get the hell out of my ring. I'm John Cena, big man. So I'm using the uh, totally legal PC version of the PS2. Um, but I have the disc version of Here Comes a Pain. Is it still possible to get like game saves and mods for it or no? If you do know, let me know down in the comment section. Because I really would like to do like a modern day version of the season mode as well. I could play Here Comes the Pain forever. Oh, hell yeah. My dogs are walking around in the background. I'm kind of hoping it's not picking up their tracks. They make a lot of noise. We already got a finish here. Go for that power bomb again. Oh my god, dude. Eddie's just getting his shit. Get kicked in here. Alright. Let's see if we can put him away. Got him up. F you, big man. Well, he's not, like, totally out. So he might kick out. Ooh, kicked out at two. Ooh. Hey, girl, trying to make a amount of comeback here, but he ain't going to because I got the reversals down pat. Big man! Woo! Oh, here we go. Fisherman suplex. Kind of. <laughs> kind of a fisherman suplex. It's like a release fisherman. I don't know. I actually really like the way Cena did his fisherman. A lot of people hate on him for it. I thought they looked kind of... It, they look different. I, I, that's why I, look, I liked them as much as I did. Ooh, 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 ooh! Hunter's raining down on that man. No, I don't want this mission actually. No, I. Okay, that works though. So. Ooh, 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 man, we're firing the shots off on Eddie. Eddie's eating everything. He was told by Vince McMahon in the back, just put him over, brother. Oh! Busted him open. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Send him off the ropes. Referee, get the hell out of the way. Back body drop. Oh, we're choking the life out of him now. 
I was gonna say he doesn't have the SDF, does he? Does he only have this one version version of the FU too? I think so. Woo! FU, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? How he wasn't anywhere near the guy there, man. Oh, Lupez, okay. Eddie's hurting. Hurting bad. Elbow drop. Yeah. No, that's the front. Oh, you can't see me. Hell yeah. Tap. <laughs> Give up. Nope. Dude, he is dead as shit. We could put him away right now, but we gotta win off the finish. There's no way we can win any other way. Okay. It's just been the, like, the complete and utter destruction of Eddie Guerrero here. Cena's taking that championship. He doesn't care about nothing. Yeah. Ooh. 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 All right, Eddie. Time to put this away. I think it's time. I think it is time. F you. Ran him to the center of the ring so there's no rope break. Somehow there's still going to be a rope break, I feel like. <laughs> New US champion. Hell yeah. We got a new, new United States champion, people. All right, no winning animation, just kind of done. Uh, Lee to defeat Sable, Kurt Angle, and Chris Benoit. Apparently, they're a tag team versus Big Show and the A Train. Kurt Angle gets the victory there over A Train. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Oh boy, Mr. McMahon himself. It's Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon to you. The man who owns the whole industry, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. What's he doing out here tonight? How are you all doing tonight? Good, I hope. Actually, you should all be grateful. Grateful you have something to do tonight in this piece of crap town. Anyway, let's go to the chase. Shelton Benjamin. What's up? You're a great talent, no doubt. You're not like the other low-life scum in this town. You actually have a future in life. But don't get too cocky that I'm out here praising you. And remember, all WWE superstars are my property. I can fire ass whenever I want, even in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, I can make you and I can break you. Whether or not you'll be in the WrestleMania main event next year or not is all up to me. So don't you forget it. That is all. Mr. McMahon already flexing his authority before next year's WrestleMania. You better not cross the balls. Okay, Mr. McMahon being a dick. He's probably going to fire us all as soon as we're in the middle of a pandemic. That's kind of what he does. Kind of the thing. Got that thing on him. He's got that attitude about him. So we're in the third week. I didn't see where we're at, but... Oh, Eddie Guerrero, he just lost the U.S. title. Let's go talk to him. Yo, Eddie, how you feeling? Who do you think you are, Holmes? You know, man, I've got a problem with the U.S.A. I've got two little girls at home, S.A. And those two little girls worship the ground I walk on. They idolize me. And the other night when I walked in the room to say goodnight, and for them to show their father the respect that he deserves, I saw something very disturbing, S.A. I looked on the wall, and not only did they have a picture of me, but right next to it, was a poster of Shelton Benjamin. I am God. Ooh, S.A. Ooh, hoo, hoo, S.A. But in my heart, I knew I had to teach my little girls a lesson. So I got your poster and I ripped it up and burned it, S.A. You actually did that to your kid? You're insane. You're insane. S.A., you're real funny, man. S.A., I'm, I'm, I'm tired of getting disrespected. I'm going to teach you a lesson on how to respect me, S.A. It starts tonight. In that ring, just us. Mano a mano, S.A. Oh, so we got a match, and we're facing Eddie Guerrero tonight. He's salty after winning the U.S. title, or losing the U.S. title to John Cena, and now he's taking it out on Shelton. But that's alright, because we're going to teach him a lesson. So we got Shelton versus Eddie, Ultimate Dragon versus Matt Hardy and Charlie Haas. Somehow that's, hap that's a thing. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus Rhino. That's a stacked SmackDown card, if you ask me. And there's this man. I said in my live stream last night, if I were to be, if I were like a WWE superstar, 
and I had to I would want one of my signature finishes to be uh, the cross face just because it, it looks so badass if you're doing it correctly like when Chris Benoit did it he literally he looked like he was trying to rip your head off I mean it was crazy and we got this man Shelton Benjamin let's get into this man Come here, Eddie. You say you got a problem with me, I say? Oh, okay. Got a real problem, he's gonna low blow me. Oh, where am I going? Oh, where am I going? Whoop! Caught him anyways. Bitch! Yeah! Shelton Benjamin! Dude, the graphics are really good on this, too. So much better than if I were to play on, uh... On my console, PS2. That's totally legal PS2 on the PC. is actually really good. Ooh, wait. No, I gotta hit it. I gotta hit it. Boom! Hell yeah, baby. Woo! Get out of here. We're gonna do it again. See ya! You're about to lose two weeks in a row, Eddie. I don't know if you're gonna like that too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught him with a super kick. Oh my god, dude, Shelton is just crazy. Oh. Ooh. Here we go. Get a couple shots in. Booyah! Dude, those kicks, bro. I forgot that like Shelton was known for his kicks back in the day. Get out of here. I ain't finished with you. I got more offense. Man, you gotta sell my shit! Caught you. Oh, suplex! Dude, why can't... You know, 2K has an announcement on Monday. I'm, I'm recording this on Sunday, by the way. Uh, and 2K has an announcement tomorrow about a possible... Uh, the future, since they're not making a 2K21. I'm hoping that's gonna be a new game. Why can't they just make, it, make something like this, man? Like, for real. It's, you don't have to spend like a crap ton of time making it look so realistic. Just make it, just make it fun. Make an All Stars too, you know. Make it all, make an All Stars too. That's what we really want to see. And for the cover, off the 450. We're we gonna beat him. Oh, we almost beat him there. Close, but no cigar. Ooh, drop him down. Ooh, big drop kick. Hell yeah. Send him to the outside of the ring. Oh, I'm feeling different, Eddie. How you feeling? Woo! Just kidding, bitch. <laughs> oh, caught him there a little bit. Oh, going to the top row. Back suplex. Oh, I like this game because you can get through the matches fast. You know, it, like all the moves look sweet. And, like, it, it's fun. You know what I mean? Like, this is just the perfect game. If, if I could... If I could mod this game and get, like, the current day roster in it, I so would, too. That would just be really cool. I know that you can download the mods. I, really, I just don't... I can't find them. I don't, I don't even know where to find them, honestly. Ooh. Okay, that's uncalled for, Eddie. Oh my god! <laughs> I was not ready for that. Sit your ass down. Woo! Moonsault! Oh, I thought I actually... <laughs> I actually thought we beat him off that. Drop toe hold. Ooh. That's a snap mare. I don't know why I call it a drop toe hold. That's not even close to a drop toe hold. Back to the suplex. Ooh, we're gonna hit the three amigos on Eddie Guerrero. Got number two. 
Can we hit the third one, the trifecta? Shelton Benjamin's own version of the three amigos. Hell yeah, baby. Cover. Count it. Count faster. Damn you. Oh! Took out the ref a little bit there. Gotta get out of the way, ref. Stretch him out, hell yeah. Just hitting all of his moves, just kind of getting a feel for him. Eddie's dead again, dude. Two weeks in a row, Eddie's getting his ass kicked. Ooh, steal it! Nah, just kidding. Ooh, kick to the back of the head. Ooh. Where am I going? See ya! Oh, God. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Eddie's just... Dude, I'm so good at reversing in this game, it's crazy. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty goddamn good at reversing. Oof! Oh, there it is! Ooh, that signature spinning heel kick. I love that move. He always made it look so good, too. Oh! Does he have another finisher? Is it, is it in the corner? No. You should have another finisher, right? You would think you'd have another finisher. No, I think he only has that. That's weird. I figured he'd have the Explorer. Maybe I can just add it in. Three. Hell yeah, baby! We get the win again. We're going to attack him because he wanted to talk all that trash backstage. We're not even going to... We're not even playing games. Not even playing games. My dog's barking. My dog is barking. Got the chair. No! Eddie got the chair! Damn it, Eddie! You bastard. So maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. Alright, so Ultimo Drag... Uh, <laughs> we defeat Eddie, but we got our ass kicked with a steel chair after the match. Uh, Ultimo Dragon versus Matt Hardy and Charlie Haas. Let's see if my controller's gonna work. Uh, Charlie Haas gets the win. Hell yeah, man. World Race Tag Team going wild. Rey Mysterio versus Rhino in the main event. Rey, Rey Mysterio gets the win. Okay. Ooh, look at the money. $2,400 cash money. You'll love to see it. And then we'll be going into the fourth week in Illinois. Friday Night Smackdown. But that's going to be it for the first episode of Season Mode here on the channel uh, on Smackdown. Here comes the pain. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button before you go. I really would appreciate that. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already for more. And I will see you all next time as we get back into the mix with Shelton Benjamin. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Peace!